The word gospel means good news. So why not take some time and listen to the Acorn Gospel? You may never be the same again. To get a better understanding of the Acorn Gospel, we recommend that you first listen to the Acorn Story, an adventure about change. Hi, I'm one of the Acorn characters that had a part in the Acorn Story. I have to admit, that story was a real adventure about change. Before I go on, I'd like to clear up a fact about acorns that has always bothered me. Most everyone thinks that acorns are a bunch of nuts, but that's not true. We are also seeds. I feel better when people see us as more than some nuts. Now getting back to the adventure about change that took place in the story. All the acorns in the story did go through a change. Some were good, but for acorn number four, well, let's just say he became a delightful dinner for Mr. Squirrel. The rest of us acorns were willing to take a leap of faith onto the path that would be a new life. To be honest, once we began on that path, it wasn't easy. But as we faced the different struggles, we grew stronger. Most everyone would say our new life began when we became oak trees. Truly, it started when we were willing to let go of the branch and believe the promise that we could become someone new. Did you know people have something in common with acorns? No, I'm not saying that they're nuts. Well, I better not go there. What we do have in common is that we both can experience change. This is where the story becomes hard for most people to listen to. But I'm asking you to not close the book. Just hear me out. People also need to take a leap of faith. They need to let go of what they think is important and let God have control of their lives. A complete surrender into His care. You may be a person who feels, I don't need anyone to help. I can do this all on my own. I'm happy just the way I am. That's exactly what Acorn number 4 believed. He felt safe right where he was, and look what happened to him. Now, if you would like to walk on a new path, I can promise that your life will never be the same. I'm not saying it'll be easy, but I do know that God will walk with you through your difficulties and obstacles if you put your faith in Him. The Bible explains in a clear way how you can begin this relationship with God. The Bible is to people what better homes and garden is to plants and flowers, but with much greater results. Follow me, and I'll walk you through the scriptures, then the rest is up to you. The Bible says that when sin entered the world, it separated people from God. The reason is because God is holy and cannot come near sin. But because God loves people, He provided a way to cleanse them of their sin. Sin does have a penalty. It's called death. 
Not a death where you stop breathing, but a spiritual death, which is a separation from the living God. This sin separates everyone. The book of Romans says, For all have sinned and fall short of God's glory. Romans 3.23 That's sad news for people. That's why I'm glad that I'm an acorn. But when Jesus came, he paid for all the sins of the world through his death on the cross. That's good news and why I wish I could experience what you people are able to. The book of Romans goes on to say, You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 5, 6 Because of this sacrifice, people can come to God. So now you see that all have sinned and that Christ paid the price for the sins of the whole world. What you need to do now is accept this truth and take that leap of faith by believing the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross was for you. Then you can be saved from a life of separation from God and be united with Him. The book of Romans explains it like this. that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9 If you understand what I said, then let me lead you in a simple prayer to invite Jesus into your heart. Remember, it's not the word you say, just let them truly come from your heart. Lord, I realize my condition as a sinner. I believe when Jesus went to the cross, he paid the price for my sins. Thank you for this great sacrifice and act of love. I ask you now to come live within my heart and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Congratulations if you prayed that prayer. You may not feel any different, but the Bible says, Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old is gone, and the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 That's right. When you have God's Spirit come live in you, then you are a brand new creation in Christ. Now that's something to be excited about.